Chrome OS 120 is here and brings some new features that every Chromebook user should know about. Give this video a thumbs up now if you want to support How to Chromebook and my work on this channel. Let's start with a very practical new feature for anyone who uses a mouse on their Chromebook. As soon as you have connected a mouse to your Chromebook, you can adjust the settings of your mouse in the settings under device. Here you can now change the primary mouse button from left to right, deactivate cursor acceleration, adjust the cursor speed, reverse the scroll direction, and increase or reduce the scroll speed. In addition to the mouse, there are also new customization options for the keyboard. If we also go to the keyboard menu item in the settings under device, we will now see the customize keys section. Here you can customize various special keys. For example, you can assign selected other key functions to the launcher key, which you use to open the search function on your Chromebook by default. You can do the same for Control, Alt, the Escape key, and the Backspace key. You can also change certain key combinations to perform some frequently used actions. Here you can specify whether you want to use these actions in combination with the launcher key or in combination with Alt. Google has also further developed the virtual desktops for Chromebooks. These now have a prominent place in your tray by default so that you can always see which desktop you are currently on. If you click on it, you can see which desktops are currently open and you can immediately jump to another desktop with another click. You can also quickly close virtual desktops using the X and you can even see which key combination you can use to jump to the respective desktop immediately. You can also merge several desktops and use the arrows on the side of the button to quickly switch between the virtual desktops. On the far right, you also have the option of creating another virtual desktop. If you don't want to have the overview of the virtual desktops in your clipboard, you will be able to hide the desktop name with a right-click in future and display it again. However, this function will only be available with Chrome OS 121, and with Chrome OS 120 you will have to make do with the desktop name in the clipboard for the time being if you have used several virtual desktops. Another new feature in Chrome OS 120 is Nearby Share Self Share, which allows you to use Use the popular nearby share function much more quickly and efficiently. If you want to send a file from your Android smartphone to your Chromebook, this is automatically accepted by your Chromebook, even if the display of your Chromebook is switched off. The only requirement for this is that both devices use the same Google account when sending files back and forth between these devices. If you go to the settings of individual apps, you can now see at the bottom whether this app is a progressive web app, such as the Microsoft 365 app, or an app from the Google Play Store. Another very practical new function is hidden behind the Chrome flag. Hashtag Ash Faster Split Screen Setup Whereas previously, you could only drag and dock browser or app windows on the screen, after activating this Chrome flag, you will have a selection of your chosen apps to use the other side of the screen after docking the window. If you don't want this, all you have to do is click on a free area, and you can then continue with the app docked on one side. If you want to know why Chromebook Plus will revolutionize the notebook market, Click on the video on the left now. If you want to know how you can use Windows 10 on any Chromebook, then click on the right video now and I'll say thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.